Hi everyone, this is my About Me presentation um, for EDL 70 to 10, Summer Semester 2019. My name is Kaylin Griffith. Courses I have taken so far for EDAS um, are multiple different courses because I am in my final semester of the master's program. So I've taken 6230, 6240, 6260, 6250, 6210, and I am in my final, third and final semester of the internship for 6300. I grew up in Columbus Grove, Ohio. I went to Columbus Grove High School, pretty small rural high school in Putnam County. Uh, right now, I'm currently a teacher, high school English teacher at Kaleida High School. I teach English 9, English 11, and Honors English 11. This past year, I also taught um, reading to eighth graders, but I, I am not responsible for that class uh, next year. This is my, I just finished uh, my fifth year at Kaleida High School. Um, I taught six years so far. My first year, I taught at a school uh, pretty much right down the road called Miller City High School. Previous degrees and majors, I received a Bachelor's of Arts degree from Ohio State, majoring in English. I then went on to the University of Finley to take classes toward my 7 through 12 English Language Arts teaching license, and that's where I did my methods and my student teaching and all of those different um, field work, I should say. And I'm now pursuing ma my master's degree in school leadership, and I'm also I'm working toward a principal license from BGSU. Some rewards and challenges, I think, with my position currently. The most rewarding part of my position is watching the growth of the students throughout the school year. I especially enjoy comparing the freshmen's writing from August to May. Their improvement always amazes me as they continue to grow and improve as writers. The most challenging part of my position I think is getting the upperclassmen to have fun in class and to be excited about learning. Um, as is usual for teens, they often they often look to their peers for approval and sometimes learning isn't cool. Um, so I find myself trying to get them to loosen up and have some fun in class, which of course is sometimes easier said than done. Regarding school leadership, in my opinion, one of the most significant challenges facing school leadership is adapting to the ever-changing environment environment of educational policies and you know um, as a school leader being the one who encourages teachers and other staff members to be innovative and creative and changing up their planning their lesson delivery their assessments so i think that um, is one of the most significant challenges myself i would describe my leadership strategy as democratic and I believe that that's my strategy is because um, I value the discussions and opinions of others. I feel like this is my style of a leader because I feel that in order to create an environment of trust and respect, I must listen to the ideas of others and involve them in the decision making as well. As a leader, I don't feel as though I should be the only one making decisions um, because as we all know, in a school, there are multiple people working toward you know, one goal for our students and they should also be involved in making the decisions because they're stakeholders in the aspect of a school and um, decisions affect multiple people. So I think I view myself as a democratic leader um, because I do see the value of many people being involved in decisions and not just one. I was drawn to administration because of a couple of things. I want to create an environment for staff and students where learning is valued and appreciated. I want to inspire students to have pride in their school and in their community. And finally, I want to influence students and encourage them to act with integrity and good character, not only when they are in the walls, you know, of a high school or a junior high, but as they move on from their high school experience, I want to take, I want them to take those positive character traits and remember to act with integrity in, in all that they do in the future. 
when I graduate, I would like to work in a school leadership position. Last summer I took a class with the focus on using data in a classroom and I really enjoyed it. Um, I like to I would like to work in a leadership position in which I can help educators in using test data to inform their own instruction. And then eventually I would love to pursue a career as a high school principal. A little bit more about me. In my free time, I enjoy spending time with family and friends. I love going up to my fiance's family's cottage in Northern Michigan. Many of our summer weekends are spent up there and uh, I enjoy picking up a good book when I can. My favorite movie is Inception. The best last book I read was The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. It's at the top of the list for the books that I teach. It's one of my absolute favorites and I, I love teaching it every year. My bucket list, I love to travel. So my bucket list um, items include visiting each state in the country and traveling abroad. A couple years ago, I traveled to Europe for the first time and I loved it. So two places that I would like to eventually travel to on my bucket list are Greece and Ireland. Something about me you would not know, I'm getting married in October. So this summer will be very busy finalizing wedding plans on top of everything else. Um, before teaching at Clyda, I taught at a neighboring rural school in Putnam County. I was the only high school English teacher. So I taught every student in the high school, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, seniors. Um, their class size was around the average probably 30, 35 kids. So, um, and even less than that, some only had, I think, a very small one was maybe 28. Um, so I was the only high school English teacher, but it was a very good experience for my first year. For this class, I'm most excited to learn um, how to assess school programs to be sure that individual needs of all students are met. Um, so keeping the individual in mind while also um, looking at the school as a whole. And then I'm also excited to learn about the process of school improvement and what those steps to improvement entail. Thank you for listening to my presentation.